Hi everyone, I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the setup and to conduct the experiment involving thin lenses and the ray box. For this experiment, you're going to need a ray box with a power supply unit, a convex lens, the object, which is quite simply a piece of cardboard with a triangular cutout, lens holder, a screen, and a meter rule. And if needed, a styrofoam block or any other block to hold up the ray box so that the light will be in line with the lens and the screen. So in this case, the object is quite simply a piece of cardboard with a triangular cutout and some tracing paper to make it transparent. You don't need the transparent paper, but it's just that it looks nicer this way. Now, why a triangle? Because it makes it easier to observe if the image is upright or inverted. Because if you use a square or a circle, right side up or upside down, it's going to look exactly the same. We're going to place this object at the front of the ray box so that when we switch it on, the light will shine through the triangle. The lens is going to be placed at the lens holder. So what we need to do next is we need to line up the screen, the lens, and the object all in a straight line so that the image of the object can be projected onto the screen. As you can see, the ray box is much lower than the lens, so that's why we need a block to hold the ray box up. Now, this particular lens has a focal length of 15 centimeters. To measure the object distance, we need to measure the distance from the object to the center of the lens. So we can line this up with the meter rule to make it easier for us to take the measurements. I'm going to place the lens at the center of 50 cm. So it's easy for us to measure the object distance and image distance. So from 50, let's say we want to have an object distance of 30. So we're going to place the object at the 20 cm mark. Now for this particular experiment, it also helps to have the lights switched off in the room. Because although you can see the image being projected, it could be a lot clearer with the lights off. So we're going to switch off the lights in the room. So you can see the image much more clearly now on the screen. So the reason for the elevation of the ray box is to make sure that the light from the object can travel through the lens and be projected onto the screen. So if we look at what's on the screen, you can see that as we adjust the screen, you'll be able to see the image. In this experiment, we consider the image formed when we get the clearest image on the screen. So you can see how when we move it further, it becomes blurrer. And when we move it closer, it also becomes blurrer. So adjust until we get the clearest possible image. That's where the image is formed. And you can see in this case, the triangle is pointing upside down compared to the original object where the triangle was right side up. So let me just show you. Here's a triangle. But on screen, the triangle is upside down. So in order to measure the image distance, we just need to measure the distance of the screen from the lens. So because we've placed the lens at the 50 cm mark, the screen is approximately at 79.5, which means that the image distance is approximately 29.5 centimeters. Characters of the image is roughly same size inverted and it's real because it can be projected onto the screen. Now, if we were to place the object further, you can see that the image is no longer clear. We can reposition it. And we can adjust the screen to try to find the clearest image. And you can see now it is slightly smaller. So it is a diminished image, inverted and real. If you'd like to measure the object and image distance, again, same thing, you measure the distance. 
If we were to place the object closer, Again, it, we need to adjust the screen to get the clear image. Okay, here it's already blur, so let's bring it closer. And you can see it's blur as well. So this is the sharpest point. And you can see that it's also real and inverted, but the size is much larger. If you place the object too close to the lens, where it is at a distance that's less than the focal length of the lens, you will not be able to get a clear image on the screen at all. So no matter how we adjust the screen, we will never get an image. And that's because if you place the object less than the focal length of the lens, you'll get a virtual image. That means the image cannot be projected onto a screen. So, I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more lab experiment practical videos by your physics teacher, Ms. Ho. Happy studying!